Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again. Just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So, guys, I'm just going to give you guys a quick, quick reading um, to see what's popping in the collective and to see what guidance I can give you guys um, wherever you're at on your journey. So, it's going to be a general reading and a timeless reading. May my guides and ancestors give me guidance. And then the first card is <laughs> go outside. <laughs> and the card says, you have to be, you've been indoors for too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. So some of you need to go out and grind. Um, if your yeah, energy is feeling a bit off, or you're feeling a bit up in your head, like overthinking and stuff, um, try to go outside and ground, go for a walk in the park, um, do some gardening, repot your plants, because the energy is just, I don't know, the energy is a bit mad. Um, yeah, feels like we're in the void for some reason. Yeah, everything feels a bit like stagnant and shit. Um, yeah, so if you're kind of feeling the energies, um, go, go, outside and ground connect with mother earth in any way you can man they'll help you with the energies man earthing is uh go try earthing if any of you guys are interested in that <laughs> and then the the next card is fairness and then the card says this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner so <coughs> whatever situation you're experiencing you may have had an argument um or You may, I've seen a letter or something, you may have got a letter from the council or some um, kind of letter, maybe you, you're in, you was late paying bills or something. Um, but everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna work in your favor if you was late paying bills or, um, I'm seeing a letter, there's a letter some information on it and um, yeah things things will be handled in a just manner so if you've been calling the council and they're not doing their job maybe you've read a complaint or something um, and everything's gonna work out in your favor the next card is boundaries and then the card says love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy so right now is a good time to practice boundaries um for empaths light workers healers and um star seeds um empath <laughs> i said empaths really um boundaries is um a lesson that we kind of need to learn it during this lifetime um because we're, we're kind of here on a mission to like help others and we want to yeah help others so we find it hard to say no. So yeah, set boundaries because some people will take, take, take if you're a giver and we're also givers as well. So if you're, we like to give a lot. So um, yeah, be mindful because people just take if you're giving um, and love, love, love yourself enough to say no. And sometimes you need to set boundaries with yourself as well. Um, like, I don't know if you've been eating too much chocolate or something. Sometimes you've got to say like, no, it's time to kind of set boundaries and shit and then the next card is inner goddess and then the card says awaken the goddess within you through dance self-care and appreciation appreciating your divinity so some of you need to practice some self-love self-care and self-love at this time um and get back into touch with um who you are um, for some reason I'm just getting a mother energy so it's like you may have just put um, like lost your identity um, to having kids for some reason is what I'm getting at you need to tap back into yourself to find out who you are and what do you like if that makes sense because yes you're, you're a parent but also you have your you as well if that makes sense getting, getting feminine energy so yeah you may have but, um, you may have Obviously, parents put their kids first, but sometimes parents don't take time out for themselves, if that makes sense. 
but yeah, that for some, I'm just picking up someone um, that it's more of a feminine energy, man. Um, you need to put the awaken your inner like goddess. Should I say like yeah, get into touch with who you are and shit. Weird. Um, and then the next card is blooming. And then the card says you are just getting started, so be so have patience with yourself and and the process and do not give up. Um, so yeah. Whatever project you are doing, I'm getting more inner work. So say for instance you've been working on yourself a lot. Um, sometimes when you're doing a lot of inner work or just stuff in general, um, you may be putting the work in and you're not seeing um, the results or whatever. But um, be patient with yourself because it's a journey and enjoy the journey. And um, some people focus on the destination and not the journey. Um, so yeah, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, and things will work in your favour yeah things will work in your favour oh yeah and then the next card says easy does it and then the card says there is no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing so yeah some of you need to slow down and like I was saying before um, some self care man um like I was saying before as well, um, it's, um, a marathon, not a race, like the whole life thing. So some of you just need to slow down as well um, and try to be more present. And um, everything is how it should be. So wherever you're at, currently at on your journey, that's exactly where you should be. Um, we have ups and we have downs in the journey. And it's about um, trying to stay neutral in, in either, if that makes sense. And not try not to get attached because sometimes when we're going through shit, we can beat ourselves up as well. Um, the next card is body of water. So some of you need to drink a lot more water, flush out your system. Um, it also will help you with the energies as well because we're like 70% water. And water will help the energy, pardon me, the energies travel through you. Some of you are dehydrated. <laughs> Some of these may be water signs and some of these may need to go to like a lake or the river to get recharged by water or soak in a bath just to recharge your energy or to cleanse your energy. And the next card is Source. And then the card says, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So some of these are trying to manifest something. Um, whether it's a, you can manifest whatever you want, whether it's a house, more money, um, a partner, you can manifest it, whatever you think you can create. Um, so try to be clear on what you're trying to manifest, guys. Because um, the universe will deliver, but you've got to be clear on what you want. So if your internal reality, you're in, if you're inter, if you're, <laughs> if, your internal is all chaotic, like I keep saying in my videos. If your inside is chaotic, your external is going to be chaotic. And that's the chaotic, the chaos is going to manifest. And then the next card is past life. And the card says, this situation involves your past life memories. Um, some of you need to do some cord cutting. You've got energy cords attached to... A certain situation in the past and it is affecting you in this lifetime so if you got I don't know if you was afraid to speak out in a previous lifetime you may find it hard to speak in this lifetime um, that's just the energy cord that you need to sever because that's holding you back if that makes sense um, not uh, that was just an example but um, you can have many energy cords, so some of you may want to check that out. Um, the next card is Prosperity. And the card says, the universe is pouring out its abundance to you. Be open to receive, receiving. So some of you need to work on your heart chakra because 
you're not being open to receive. Um, some of you should be should work with rose quartz or green avatrine to help open up the heart chakra, because um, if the universe is sending you stuff and you're finding it hard to receive. Um, yeah, the, the universe will send you blessings and you just turn them down basically when you should be, there's a give and take of energy in the universe. Um, so the universe is giving you stuff, but you don't seem to be accepting it at the moment for some reason, man. So be open to receive. Yeah, be open to receive. Yeah, a lot of people, um, find it hard to receive help. Um, if you're struggling at this time or struggling with something, ask for help, yeah? Because they might, someone might, the universe may send you someone to actually help you. Like, I don't know, if you need help up the stairs with your shopping, the universe may send someone <laughs> and they may say, do you want help? And you're, you're like, no, I'm all right, thanks. But you actually need the help. So be open to receive, guys, if that makes sense. And it's okay to ask for help, yeah, on the journey. And the next card is fertility and the card says it is the best it is the perfect time for you to start a new project access new ideas and give birth to new conditions so um some of these are fertile some of these may be getting pregnant so be careful um it's a time to start a new project um whatever it may be um, whether it's some of these may be transitioning for something or some of you are trying to start something or want to start something and you are up in your head about starting something or like maybe leaving a job and starting a new job um, yeah but this is the perfect time to do so some of these are artists or write If you do writing um, or singing, get it recorded. Or like, um, yeah, put yourself out there, man. Because it's art. Art is like, is self-expression. And that's like, you know, it's amazing. So share, share whatever you have. And then the next card is compassion. And then the card says, release judgment about yourself and others. And focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So yeah. Um, the card's basically saying, yeah, just got to be compassionate to yourself. Wherever you're at on your journey, whatever you're currently experiencing, um, be compassionate and to yourself first, yeah, because you've got you've got to um, heal oneself first, and then when you're healed, not healed, but like when you're doing your thing, then you can help others because sometimes we can tend to help others and kind of neglect ourselves. So um, yeah. That's just an example. Um, but also be compassionate to others as well because everyone's going through, been through shit and going through shit and you don't, other people may have experienced different stuff to you. So yeah, just be, be yeah, be compassionate, man. And put yourself, put yourself in um, someone else's shoes as well. Let's see what else is popping and what else. And the next card is transformation. So you're currently transitioning. Um, some of these are doing a lot of self growth, man. Some of these are tapping into yourself a lot um, and finding out who these really are and not. Um, and stepping into your power. So, some of these may feel like um, you're in this cocoon phase um, where you're still in the cocoon but like half out. Some of these are transitioning. Um, some of these are leveling up on your your energy. Your energy is leveling up. And then the next card is sensitivity. And uh, yeah, that's basically saying you're becoming very sensitive at this time. So um, maybe maybe sensitive to sounds. Um, or things that you're eating, your body's just going for a shift, a change at the moment. Um, so yeah, be compassionate with yourself. If you need more rest, rest. And don't overdo it, man. Let's 
just see what else is going on. And then the next card is um, Underlying Love. And then the card says, The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. Um, some of you are doing some healing from um, maybe childhood trauma. Um, maybe some of you had um, family issues and you're trying to... Some of you are doing inner child healing at this current time. Um, so if you feel that you're experiencing this, be compassionate with yourself um, because you're going through a transition. Yeah, so be com compassionate with yourself. If you're doing um, experiencing a lot of healing at this time, um, yeah, a lot of self-care and... Um, yeah, don't be hard on yourself, man, because um, the healing healing can be painful at times. So be kind to yourself, because sometimes we can give ourselves a lot of negative talk, self-talk. Um, but yeah, that's your reading tribe. Anyway, um, if you like the video, you guys know what to do. Um, and I'm going to hit you guys up real soon with another video. Anyway, peace, love, and light tribe.